Yes, we are all looking in this world for that match which will totally satisfy us. But the point is that this spiritual match, it does exist as there are existing so many other things, but we are also born and we are supposed to die at any moment in this lifetime and we are supposed to learn hundreds and thousands of things here. So that the real fulfillment as far as the match is concerned is our relationship with God. He will make our life complete. He will, he will fill that void that what's within us where we are mistaken, where we are wrong. And therefore, if you try to find a man or a woman uh, capable of filling that void you have, you, you'll simply fail. Because none of the men and women in this world have that capacity to fill that void in another person's life. You see, we are much too impure. Yeah, we can gratify each other, we can also feel real good to be together, but it's always frail. And it's not complete because you're not pure and they are not pure. So when you want to substitute God's fulfillment and his complete existence or his completeness by uh, matching your mistakes or what you are missing with another person, you will not be successful. There's no way. And neither will you be able to fill the gap in another person's life either. It works in both directions. We have to put the Supreme Lord in the center of our life and then group around him whatever other interests or whatever pleases him. For example, we may uh, put God in the center of our family together with our wife and with our children and live quite a joyful family life. But if you're trying to exclude God from your family and being happy by worshiping your wife or your husband respectively, it will not work. And if you worship yourself, much less will it work. So it's something like, a, it's, a, it's a faulty attempt. Yes, we are all looking for companionship. We are all looking for uh, a life companion where we can uh, feel that giving ourselves will be rewarded will be understood, will be returned as well. This, that, that is a strong feeling in everybody. When you, what, when you look for a friend, when you look for a uh, partner of any kind, you're always looking for that sincere relationship which will not end up disheartening. But still, you may turn it any way you want. There's only one person who can fulfill all the cravings, and this is God himself. And that's why you are allowed, according to the spiritual, mystical philosophy, to have a personal relationship with God. You are invited to have a personal relationship with Him. You're, you're not obliged to stay in the material world in relative engagements and in relative uh, love attempts. No, you don't. This is the, the initial loving craving, that falling in love mentality, which people have is just for them to find their family and to... Uh, to start their family, but it's not something which is altogether perfecting or uh, making their life complete. No, that's why we say there's a honeymoon and then afterwards the people becomes, the things, the relationship becomes quite uh, pale, uh, boring. Uh, it becomes something routine, so it's not anymore so enchanting. But the duty of life comes and goes through the entire existence of life. So if we are only enchanted by the honeymoon idea, then we will not be able to bear in an appropriate way what has come towards us. You see, love is something so wonderful that it really requires sacrifice. So if you want to have a relationship with another person, there's no sacrifice on your side, then your love has no value anyway. And if it is real sacrifice, then it's sacrifice which considers God's position in first place. Second place, you will consider the welfare of all the members of your family. And this will be your inner satisfaction, your inner growth. So look for Him, the Lord of love. He will fulfill all your cravings and all your ambitions. 
he will make you the greatest lover of him and all if you simply aspire for it.